What's going on, you guys? I'm Pet Platypus, and Nintendo finally, fucking finally, almost thought this thing wasn't fucking real for a second, finally revealed the NX, which is apparently called the Nintendo Switch. Let's talk about the Nintendo Switch. For those of you guys who don't know, I am a pretty big Nintendo fan. I do understand that they've made a lot of mistakes, and I don't condone those mistakes, but I still love the games that they make. So I was definitely watching the NX with cautious optimism, I suppose, because I like the Wii U, and I liked the Wii, and I know that they try to innovate and do crazy new things with every console nowadays, or at least for the past couple generations, including this generation. So I wasn't sure what to expect with this thing, which, love it or hate it, with Nintendo, when you don't know what a company is going to do and you don't know what to expect from them, that is kind of exciting. So going into the NX trailer, no idea. Apparently a lot of the rumors were true or, like, variations of the rumors were true, but I wasn't following any of the rumors. I wasn't putting too much stock in them. The only rumors I was putting stock into were console hybrid with a handheld and the cartridge thing, which both turned out to be true. Right out the gate, this thing is marketed way better than the Wii U was. When the Wii U was first revealed, everyone was thinking, is this, like, a... Is it just the controller? Is this an add-on to the Wii? Like, a lot of people were confused. Even just gamers that follow this kind of stuff were confused. They showed the system... They showed the docking thing you put it in. They showed a lot of uses for the controllers. They really let you know this is what it looks like and this is what it does, sort of. I mean, we still have a lot of information that's not being told to us just yet. This was a first look. They told us this was just a first look, a sneak peek, which is really good. I'm glad they said that that's what it was. They didn't hype up this reveal or anything. Uh, the short notice was fucking insane, though. Like, we're waiting for NX. We're waiting for NX. We're waiting for NX. And... All of a sudden, just out of nowhere, hey, tomorrow, 7 a.m., boom. It's like, whoa, what the fuck? So that was crazy. But, yeah, it's finally here. We finally get to see it. It's a real thing. And what do I think of it? Well, aside from what I said about the marketing being way, way better for this thing so far than the Wii U, I think it looks good. It's like this crazy Transformer thing. Again, I didn't follow any of the rumors, so I didn't know too much about this stuff. You can slide off the parts of the controller, put them on this separate thing to use as a controller. Then it has a Pro Controller, which looks like a really nice one. I hope it comes with that, uh, but it might not. We'll have to wait and see. But I do hope it comes with that Pro Controller because it looks like a really nice, uh, a really nice controller. But the actual thing that you put it on looks perfectly functional as well. It's basically a screen, like I guess, because you slide it into the docking thing to connect it to your TV. But it looks like it's a screen. It takes cartridges, which we know about already, or we knew the rumors of. And a couple of interesting things, I actually had to watch the trailer a couple times to really see all the features. It looks like it has, like, lo like a local multiplayer on one system, which is really cool. You can slide off the controller things and play a game. Uh, it looked like the chick was playing a new Mario game, which I'm definitely excited about, and I'll talk about the games uh, later. But anyway, she's playing Mario, friends want to hang out, she goes outside with her system... And then she basically sets it up, and then you can just play the game locally. You don't need two systems. Like, for a long time, handhelds were two systems, two copies of the game, wireless connection or link cable or whatever from back in the day and all that stuff. It looks like now you can just play it on one system out in public on the go. That's really, really cool. That's really, really convenient. I really, really like that. The mobile functionality is not like the Wii U gamepad where you still have to be semi-close to your TV. You can just go out in public. It can act as a handheld on its own with games like Breath of the Wild and apparently Mario and Mario Kart and other games like that. Really, really cool. That does kind of have me worried about the power of the system. Uh, it seems like it's going to be most likely about as powerful as the Wii U. Maybe a little stronger. Nothing they showed on it looked like it was next-gen. I don't think a small tablet like this is going to be able to handle something. I mean, maybe. I don't know how technology works. I'm not computer savvy like that, but I don't see something like this handling, like, Uncharted 4 or the new Final Fantasy. You know, I, I don't see something like this handling that, but I don't think that's what they're going for. It's like a new handheld that you can use as a console, and if you look at it from that perspective, it is definitely the most powerful handheld we've ever had. To be able to run Breath of the Wild and games like that, it definitely beats out the Vita. When it comes to performance, that's that's very clear. So yeah, I like the design of the system. I think it's marketed really well. The controls seem good. I don't know about the um, the separation thing. Like you separate it and use it as like a tiny little controller. I don't know how I feel about that. I got pretty big hands. I'm a big dude, so I don't know about that. I'd have to like see that or get that hands on or something. But overall, the system itself seems pretty good. I'm still optimistic. I'm not really cautiously optimistic. I'm pretty damn optimistic about it. 
definitely optimistic about the marketing if they can keep the marketing up like this because this was a good opening trailer. At the very least, way better than the Wii U, which definitely not a very high bar, but still, you know. And I like the Wii U. No hate on the Wii U at all. Just that marketing was not the greatest. Okay, so let's talk about the games we saw. We saw Splatoon. We saw a Mario Kart looking game uh, that looked, I thought, because I didn't see the gameplay too much, I was kind of focused on the item wheel because the item wheel had like two spots and that was weird to me. I was like, two item spots? Is that like Double Dash? Is that like a GameCube game? But no, when you watch the game, it looks like Mario Kart 8, so I'm not sure if this is going to be like a Mario Kart 8 port that's enhanced for the NX or if it's Mario Kart 9. Probably Mario Kart 8 enhanced. We'll have to wait and see. 3D Mario game got me really excited. Wasn't sure when we were going to see a new Mario game. I hope that's a launch title. Uh, we'll have to wait and see, but with a new 3D Mario game on the way, that's definitely a game I'm going to want to get for it. And of course we saw Breath of the Wild, and what looked like Skyrim maybe, or something like Skyrim was on there, so that's interesting. That's a third party thrown in there. And I think that's all we saw. I'm, not, I'm trying to think if there was any other games they showed. There may have been, but for sure those are the ones I saw. Possible Enhanced Mario Kart 8. Um, possibly Enhanced Splatoon. I'm curious about Splatoon, because Splatoon actually uses the bottom touchscreen, because that's the thing also. Pretty much confirmation this thing's not going to be Wii U backwards compatible, because I didn't see a spot for a disc to go in there. Maybe there is on the actual main device. Because that's another thing about Nintendo trailers is, even if the opening trailer is good... The second trailer is always so much better. Like, a lot of games, you, you see the first trailer, you're like, oh, that looked good. And then you see the second trailer, and you're like, oh, shit, it has all these features and all these cool things you can do. So, Nintendo does that a lot, too. So, I definitely want to see a new trailer for this thing, some, some hands-on stuff with it, like a Treehouse event or whatever. You know, they like to do those. I'm not just going to knee-jerk react to anything I saw. Anything that I don't see in the trailer is not confirmation that it isn't going to be there. So, if there is some kind of Wii U backwards compatibility... We'll have to wait and see. And like I was saying before, Splatoon uses the bottom screen. Uh, or not the bottom screen, but it uses the gamepad screen as a map. And they were playing it without that, so I'm curious how that's going to work, if this is just a port of Splatoon or what's going on there. We'll have to wait and see. Another thing I wanted this thing to have is 3DS backwards compatibility. I don't think it has that because the cartridge they slip in real quick during the trailer does not look like a 3DS cartridge. That kind of bums me out because I would have been really cool and really smart to make this thing a 3DS backwards compatible thing because you could play, you pretty much would only be able to play them on the big screen, but that would be the marketing of it. It'd be like the Game Boy Player from back in the day. You can play all your 3DS games on the big screen. You want to play the remake of Ocarina of Time, the remake of Majora's Mask, the new Kirby game, which is badass. You know, you want to play any of those games on the big screen, go for it. The NX is capable, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It would have been really cool, it would have been helped with the marketing, because it would have been a huge install base of games. Just Kid Icarus, the Zelda remakes, the new Kirby game that came out this year, fucking all kinds of great 3DS games. Seems like that's not the case. We don't know anything about the eShop, we don't know anything about the online functionality, we don't know anything about any of that stuff just yet. It really was just a sneak peek of the console itself, and the basic things you're going to be allowed to do with it. And I'm definitely excited, but I'm not sold on it yet. Usually for me, when it comes to gaming, I'm usually a single-player kind of guy, not too big into multiplayer, so all the online stuff doesn't really affect me too much. What really matters is I need, like, five games that are like, hmm, I really, really want to play those five games, and then I think about picking up the system. You know, with the PS4, it was like, uh, what, what was on PS4? There was Ratchet & Clank was announced, uh, Batman Arkham Knight, which I was kind of disappointed by and I haven't even actually beat, but there was that. There was Uncharted 4, the possibility of a Jack and Daxter, because that's my favorite franchise, so if there's a possibility that a Jack and Daxter will be on it, I'll definitely consider picking it up. And, like, Tomb Raider, which I knew wasn't going to be an Xbox One exclusive, and other games like that. And for the Wii U, there was, like, LEGO City Undercover, which is, like, a really underrated game. It's basically a fun, wacky, like, Grand Theft Auto. It's really fucking awesome. There was some Super Mario 3D World, Mario Kart 8, Super Smash Brothers. Uh, just, you know, Zelda, Hyrule Warriors, there's a bunch of games I wanted to play. Xbox One, eh, that's why I don't have an Xbox One. Um, though I do like Gears of War 4. Gears of War 4 impressed me a lot. Um, I don't know why, like, I liked the other ones okay, I played them with a friend, they're fine. I liked this one a lot more, I'm not sure why. Maybe my sensibilities have changed as a gamer, but yeah, Gears of War 4 is cool, and there was Sunset Overdrive, and Record looked cool, but yeah. Five games... 
that will last me a decent amount of time, you know, playing all of them, get some play out of the uh, system, and then hopefully the system lasts a few years, and hopefully they can keep bringing in games. That's sort of how I do it. I don't really believe in, like, oh, i got to buy this new system for one game, you know what I mean? I put the limit at five, personally. But, uh, yeah, that's why I have a PS4, that's why I have a Wii U, and it might be why I have an NX, because Zelda Wii U, I'm sorry, uh, Breath of the Wild, and 3D Mario, definite, definite must-haves for me, so... Yeah, so far, I'm definitely leaning more positively than negatively. There are features I would have liked to have had, like backwards compatibility to Wii U or backwards compatibility to 3DS, which it seems like it probably won't have either of those, but they weren't obligated to put those in. Those were definitely not very likely to begin with, considering they wanted to distance themselves from the Wii brand, and it's called the Nintendo Switch, which I guess I could mention. That's an okay name. I kind of just thought they should just call it the NX, because that's what everyone's been calling it for so long, but the Nintendo Switch is a perfectly good name. It's not as weird as the Wii or the Wii U, uh, not as um, generic sounding as the GameCube, but still, it's 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 an okay name. It's perfectly fine. It's nothing stupid or anything like that. So, but yeah, that's everything I think about this thing. So, what do you guys think of the Nintendo Switch slash NX, whatever? Are you guys really excited for it? Are you gonna buy it day one? Are you not sold on it just yet? Are you do you fucking hate the goddamn thing? Go ahead and tell me in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN. I'm Peplotipus on both. Follow me on Twitter to get news and updates and stuff like that at DAJ Films. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.